Hello everyone, Switch Double here, and uh, finally we have the released official movie trailer for MLP, a new generation released on August 12 this year by Netflix. For the past few months, we all know about what's going to happen about new, this new character so that's going to be placed, taking place in Equestria sometime in the future. But now. When we had an official release of the trailer, even that this information was came to public announced in fact in 2019 when Hasbro did announce G4 was printed was come to an end and they will start going to start with to start with G5 at the beginning at the very near the end of 2021 with the movie. As a gap between a G4 and G5. And the first things I will to mention, I will talk about some things that I thought was very, at least had been, maybe the arts of pins seems to be at least important, but I think, so, I think there are some things in the trailer that have been at least to be, at least to be worth to be noticed. I will mention it separate same things and my and I will include my opinions, my thoughts about it, and my hopes for it. And they might even be contained some spoilers. So if one of my new, if some of my viewers and my subscribers who prefer to be waiting and hasn't even seen the trailer yet, you have been warned. But if you want to continue listen, you are always welcome. Now let's start. As we all know that the GE5 trailer was now was only released just a one day before. As now they had actually been revealed some of the new characters like Hitch, Sunny, Itzy, Sip, and Pip, and many others. But now we actually had the official raid trailer. But even as it was stated, the magic in the quest was gone, friendship and harmony had been replaced by mistrust and paranoia. Exactly what caused the magic to disappear. Even when, even when Sunny had brought Issy to her home in the lighthouse of nearby Maritime Bay, which lived with her father, she asked to, so that Issy can she perform some magic. But she couldn't. She couldn't. She actually actually revealed that no unicorn actually can't even perform any magic anymore. Because one day all that was just poof gone. And we can actually see a scene from the bridal world, it's his home, that every single unicorn is very depressed. And I mean you could see from that in a previous in G4, every single unicorn was able to perform a simple spell like tel levitate, teleportation, but in G5, all that has been just gone. There are no any simple magic left one. I was like surprised but they mentioned that no magic and that the old tribes of the old pony kinds live separately again. So exactly what caused this to happen and exactly what amount of time had passed since G4 ending and beginning of the movie. But if I were to say at least a few decades must have passed since the G4 ending and beginning of the movie or G5. Because in the trailer in the beginning, we can see that that trailer of Sunny's father actually stated that ponies once lived all lived together as friends. And even though that Sunny said that she wants that to happen again, and her father said maybe one day it might happen. But in her hometown of Maritime Bay, we can in fact see a tram uh, transport in the sea itself. And compared to one in a G4, there was nothing, anything like that happened. I mean, compared to like in, in Made, Made Haddon, one of the big cities, one of the major cities, there were no such thing as a tram transport in that particular city. So exactly how much technology had been invented ever since at the, at the end of G4 and beginning of the new itself. There is in fact a couple of things that didn't notice. In the Sephir Heights, 
for the Pink Stanley, they actually had this huge TV screen on the side of the building, very similar to like in Times Square of New York. And they even had television cameras, like we have in our world when we, when we are broadcasting news, movies, anything like that. I was like, whoa, they actually had brought that type of technology in the world. And I thought, okay, ever since though, a couple of months ago, they were actually revealed that they had cell phones. So why are they also, if they had cell phones, so would that not include like TV, television, computers? Well, that was surprising, but I was very eager to know more about it. But in the, in the bridal wood, there were, even though the spider be in its other scene of an all other ponies are at least depressed, there is one male unicorn who owns this type of restaurant. He seems to be in some better mood. He actually challenged Sunny on a, in a challenge in a game of Just Dance. Very similar to that what we have in our world. But I did actually did notice, and that was something that Dr. Wolf had made his own video about this particular topic, that he mentioned, notice, in the background in Maritime Bay, there is a, a movie theater that show two posters of two movies, Horns and one movie, I couldn't even see exactly what the name or the title of it, but as far as I could see, there were reference to the movie Jaws and Harry Potter. The movie Jaws, or the Horns, was like I said, it was a reference to the, in the, in the horror movie Jaws. And the shark, in that picture, in the horns, was in fact a unicorn. And and behind Hitch, one of the sheriffs in town, we can see uh, some of the posters of a pig sign. So, if this is possible that sometime after G4 had the ending, that there were some sort of conflict or some sort of catalyst that made every pony to hate each other again or their fear. Because Especially when I've been seeing Issy just walking was lost and walks in in Maritime Bay, causing every single Earth Pony to panic. Like mass panic. Run away. One actually jumps in the water to, to, to avoid her. Everyone except Sunny. She later discovered that the unicorns don't have any magic anymore. And she hopes so maybe to that she could help with help with Sunny with Issy and some other perhaps Pegasi to bring back and to unite every single pony kind once again as it was in the past though. Because in one scene one in other scenes when were they going are going to in the Brotherhood is this home. Every single one is in fact dressed, hides that they are dressed as unicorns. Because I would not even reckon, I would not risk to just as an earth pony walking into the homes of the unicorns. But here's another thing. Ever since in the G4, the unicorns lived in their cities like Ponyville, Cantalot, Maidhaddon, etc. But in the G5, all the unicorns live in a small town or at least a sort of village deep in the forest, in the woods. What gets? What brings them to move out of from leaving their, home, their towns and living in the woods of all places? That's a very suspicious, or at least a very curious thought about it. But even to consider how much things had changed over the years, or at least over time in the G5 and compared to G4. In the trailer, we can see there are a lot of things that has, hasn't even been revealed yet. Like, what else gonna happen? What caused all this happened? And there is in fact, this movie won't have a big epic ending. And in fact, as, as far as I know, the movie will actually continue with the series of G, G5 season one, episode one, Perhaps one next time, around maybe next year. But 
I just wanna surprise they actually now we had the now we had the trailer of G4 or G5 a new generation. But in it like in a still previous in a generation in G4, in a in Pulmonia, for example, we never saw any time of anything like a radio or television like that. But I was like very surprised of all these kind of things had happened. Because even a few months ago when this was revealed, like G4 or G5 was going to be taking place and over time they revealed some smaller details, but not some of the new characters, some new information. But now what we had a trailer. The trailer itself is just two minutes and twenty seconds long. Despite it's not as it doesn't show much, but it shows at least enough for more information about how the world had changed over since the G4 ending and how this politics, like the politics have changed, uh, how the technology had been developed in such, over such a period of time, and how we can also somehow see some of the characters being in developed in the series, in the part of the movie itself. So, that is all I can say for much, as, as far as much about the G5 movie trailer. My thoughts, though, my thoughts about this, I was like surprised they actually brought new type of technology, telescreens, uh, te tele TV screens, television cameras, radio, and cell phones, and other things. And I really hope what we can see more, perhaps more technology, but there are also some things I really hope to see more of. But here is another part. What are my opinion about so far about G4 movie, G5 movie trailer? Intrigued, curious, excited. All of this is the same thing. I'm very excited to know more about this movie itself. But what will I do see, hope to see more of G5 in this movie when it came out? Well, at least one thing I felt eager to know. Exactly how much time had it passed between G4 and G5. And even perhaps nobody was supposed to hope so maybe to find the cause after that and well, why the magic just disappeared. And if that there if it's possible a way to restore the magic in Equestria so that Sunny's hope and dreams to unite the pony kind once again. Even after such, even this only about two minutes long movie or a trailer, but it has revealed more details about this upcoming movie, more than we ever can expect. It. Like some more details how the Earth Pawn Society is been looks like, and how the Unicorn Society looks like, and how the, the Pegasus Society looks like after all this. That is all I can say for that. So, in my final opinion about this, what do I hope to see more? Well, at least the cause of the how, what was the cause of the magic to disappear? And is there a way to restore it? Or is the magic gone forever? And, it, it just, and, uh, and how much time in the past between G4 ending and the, and the beginning of the movie? And what else do I want to see? Well, I would like to see what epic adventure Sunny and her new friends are bringing, are end up in having this time. And I really hope to see this movie within a month or so. I am super excited. This is all I think of this. But you can also leave your opinions, your thoughts, what you think about the trailer so far, if you have seen it yet. I mean, I'm open to hear what you think about the trailer, what you think about it, what you think, so, if you think it could be better, or what you think was going to happen in the trailer or in the movie itself. Let me know in the comment section below. And as always, this is Switch Double over and out.